Hello. The activity I'll be showing today is indoor chair volleyball. The items that you'll be needing are some chairs, an open space, some people, a small ball, perhaps more of a beach ball, and a net. And if you do not have the net, you can use some string and some tape. Right now I'll be showing you how to set up the string along to make the net. So first you're going to want to go where the middle of the room is, that will cut across between the players. You want to cut the length of the string that will be equal to the width of the room. You want to set it at least above four feet or below five feet so that the players can be hitting the ball over the string. You're going to want to get the string, tape it on each side, try and make it secure as possible. It will stay on most of the time if the ball hits the string, but it will be easy to get back up. Right. Now I'll be showing you how to play the game. And when it comes to the amount of players per team, they could be up to six, and it doesn't matter where they are around the court as long as they're not too close or too far from the net. And when it comes to hitting the ball, there's two major rules. They cannot be doing any major dynamic movements going around the chair. They cannot be reaching far out, and they cannot be trying to go all the way up. The other rule is they cannot be lifting themselves out of the chair. This is a stationary game, so they have to make sure that they maintain somewhat of a posture. They could be upright as long as they try to move the ball and hit it over the net. Team captains will flip the coin and a referee will call who wins. Before each serve, the referee will call out the score before giving the ball. The one who serves is the one farthest away from the net. If they are in line with each other, they can then alternate in between who serves. If a team hits a net with the ball, the ball is given to the ones who didn't get a chance to serve. If the same team hits the net with the ball twice in a row, the other team gets the point. A team cannot make contact with the ball more than three times. The ball will continue to be hit over the net until it is considered dead. This can be determined if the ball touches the floor only once. Players can determine if they want to switch in between positions when the ball is given to the other team. The game will continue until the first team reaches 15 points. This is how you play indoor chair volleyball.